Hey, what's going on everybody? Um, today we're just going over a little bit of brake maintenance. Um, if it's been snowing where you guys are and you've been riding your Surons out in the snow, uh, you're probably like me and you notice your brakes are, uh, you know, getting a little stiff. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get in here and clean them up. So, I've already got this one off. So, uh, yeah, you're going to get your wrench, take these two, uh, two bolts out right here and we can also throw them in here too so after you get that out there's another little screw right there with a clip on it you're going to take that out and you're going to take your uh, brake pads out they might be a little bit hard to get out of there um, might help spray some rubbing alcohol on them use a pair of pliers get them out put them in a little dish and uh, what I like to use is this simple green degreaser. Now, if you go to the bike shops and stuff, they might tell you not to do this, but trust me, it'll be fine. So you're going to throw your brake pad, everything in there. And you're just going to let it sit in there for, I don't know, 20 minutes, half an hour. While that's doing that, you're going to take your rubbing alcohol. You're going to come down to the caliper and take some cotton swabs yep and you're gonna spray your rubbing alcohol in there don't worry about getting it on the the rotor that's actually good that's how you can clean your uh thing that's what you're gonna want to be doing periodically is spraying this on the your rotor as well cleaning that all off so take your q-tip uh, it's kind of hard to do this with one hand, but you're going to want to get right in there and clean everything out until it's clean, okay? And then, after that's done, I'll show you guys what's next, okay? Okay, now with this next part, what we're going to want to do is get in there and lube up the the pistons so what you're gonna want to do come up to your brake lever and be very careful because those pistons can pop right out of there so when you pull this you're gonna pull your brake lever and if you're not used to doing this you might want to even put a spacer in there so you don't pop these out but just see the okay, I'm not gonna go any further you can see these uh, the pistons you're gonna want to pop those out just a little wee bit okay now they might not all come out at once that's okay if they don't all come out at once you're gonna have to put a spacer in there and hold hold the one side squeeze it until the other one comes out when you get them to come out you can take some of the silicone spray and you're gonna very carefully kind of gonna be hard for me to do with one hand um, Okay. And you're going to come over here and just spray a little bit of this on the edge of the piston here. Just a little dab, try not to get it so it splashes all over. But very lightly. There. Do the other one. Like that. Okay. Now if you notice the other side, they're not really sticking out that much, but we'll see if we can just spray a little bit on them. Might loosen them up a little bit. It's because all the, all the salt water, everything goes in here, right? So. Okay. 
Now you might think I'm crazy spraying a lubricant in where my brake pads go, but trust me, this is gonna help clean all that gunk out of there. It's gonna get those pistons working freely again. And uh, this silicone lube, it, it dries, uh, it doesn't leave any film or anything like that. So it's going to dry, um, it's not going to be wet or anything, like, or oil. It's not going to leave an oily residue is what I'm trying to say. And once those pistons are moving freely again, we're going to clean the outside again. Just the outside of all here with rubbing alcohol. And uh, we'll be very careful when we do put the uh, brake pads back in. They're, they're not going to touch the, the walls anyway. So that's not going to contaminate the pads. So uh, don't worry about uh, contamination on your brake pads, guys. <clears throat> you can easily clean your brake pads anytime with rubbing alcohol too. Um, I don't know if, they, if you go to the bike shops, they they might not tell you that. They usually tell you just to replace your pads, but obviously they want to sell you stuff. So, anytime your brakes aren't working that good, go do this, and I guarantee your brakes will work uh, good as new again. I should have showed you guys before I started this video my rear tire. It was uh, barely spinning at all. The pads were all gunked up and getting caught on the rotor, so. Uh, so that's happening to you guys after you go out in the snow and all that stuff do this it will get your uh, brake working brand new again so uh, what you might have to do guys is uh, I have a tire iron here you gotta get that in there and the ones that are moving you're gonna have to hold those ones with the tire iron and you're probably gonna have to get somebody to help you and you tell them to squeeze it very very gently while you hold the two that you hold the two that are moving while they push on the brake lever it's gonna force the oil, the oil over to these other two that are stuck and hopefully with any luck what's gonna happen as you can see what did happen for my one here sorry about the lighting in here is the one did free itself up here a little bit so we're gonna get some more lube on that and then we're going to get the other one here freed up, lube it up, and uh, we'll clean all this out. And those should be working perfectly. Um, we will uh, come back up in here. We'll wash these all off, spray them down with rubbing alcohol, wipe them down. We'll reinstall them back in the caliper, and we'll get this all back and uh, set up properly. Okay. Okay, so... If you guys are having trouble like I am on my brake and I've heard a lot of complaints about these uh, the Suron calipers they don't work properly so what's happening is the the two pistons on the one side they'll come out and retract properly the other two they're they seem to be jammed so what you have to do in that case is um, you have to find a wedge that will fit in there um, luckily I have a uh, a brake bleeding kit that comes with these uh, wedges so you're going to take one of these and you're going to stick it in there and you're going to pull the the brake and you're going to try to hold the the two sides you're going to hold them back and try to free up and get these other sides working once you get the other two uh, sides to pop out a little bit you're going to spray them uh, again with your uh, the silicone lube and that should work its way in there and that should free itself up and the, it should work a little bit better i mean uh you got to do this kind of frequently in order to keep these uh suron brakes in good shape but it's not that big of a deal so okay guys so as you can see we finally broke the last one free sorry i couldn't film at all um but what you can see I had to do is uh, put the, the jam in the one side and then the other one was already free so what I had to do was hold it back and then when you pump the brake that one finally comes loose and you get it out a little bit it helps spray that silicone lube in there it's going to go in and that, that will actually help the seals in behind here and everything will start working way better as well. Um, 
But that stuff just helps clean everything out. So yeah, you spray a bit of that on there, wipe it in, push them back in. What I use to push them back in is just a, just a rounded tire iron. Get it in there and you're gonna work those all the way back in. So once you have them all clean, they're all working freely and you have uh, all the four pistons reset and you can come back up and uh, reinstall your brake pads. Uh, I'm gonna caution you guys, if you've never done this before, be very careful when you're doing this um, that you don't push the pistons. If you push them out any further than that right there, they'll pop right out of there. You'll leak all your uh, brake fluid. Uh, you'll have to re-bleed your brakes and you might have a hell of a time and you'll probably be very mad. So be very careful when you're doing this that you don't squeeze uh, your brake lever too hard and pop those pistons all the way out. Okay guys? If you do do that, uh, don't blame me. Okay. <laughs> Alright guys, so I've had these brake pads soaking in the degreaser for probably 20 minutes or so and as you can see there's still lots of uh, still lots of pad left on there so I'm just going to want to clean them off really good with that degreaser I'll leave them in there Scrub them down until they're really clean. And then you can just take some rubbing alcohol and uh, rinse them off with the rubbing alcohol. Once that dries, you can just put them back into the caliper. Just be careful uh, <clears throat> what you're going to do. It just takes a little bit of rubbing alcohol and a cloth. Just wipe the outside of the caliper. Just in case you got any of that silicone lube on there, it won't hurt anything, but you don't want to get it on the uh, on the brake pad. That's the only thing. Uh, once this brake pad's clean, it's not a big deal. You can touch it right now. You can do whatever you want. It's getting clean. Once you have it clean, you're ready to put it back in. You don't really want to touch it or get oil or anything like that on it. So, anyways, when we're when we come to that point, we'll come back and. Uh, We'll show you the next step. For now, what we're doing is uh, I'm just kind of letting that uh, the silicone lube sit there for a bit. Let it, you know, let it lube everything up. We will uh, wipe that down, get it cleaned up. We will uh, push all those pistons back into place, and we'll reinstall our uh, the brake pads and get this all set back up. And then we'll see if we have to do the front one or not. Uh, most likely, we will probably have to do the same thing. Um, hopefully, it's not as bad. I know my the rear caliper here, it always gave me a bit of trouble here. Uh, when I first replaced the brake pads the first time, uh, it was doing that. The, the, the two pistons on the one side were sticking, so my pads... The one pad wore all the way down on the one side, the other one was still fine. So It's not really ideal to have your... Uh, brake pads wearing unevenly like that so I just want to keep everything clean and uh, clean lubed up and functioning properly guys okay guys so basically what you're gonna do next is uh, I've taken all my parts out of the degreaser I washed them off you're gonna uh, dry them and then I spray them with uh, alcohol once more just to get them any any residue that might have been left over, any water, the alcohol will uh, it will get rid of all that, and then they're clean. Then what I do is I take the brake pads and I set them down one on top of each other, so I don't touch the actual pad. And you're going to uh, you're just going to take your spring, put it back on there, and then you come over, and you're going to reinstall it back in your caliper. Um, I only have one hand so I'll come back to you guys once I have it in the caliper but you uh, basically uh, um, you're gonna want to make sure that all you pushed all these pistons all the way back in or you're gonna have a hard time getting that in but uh, as long as they're all the way flush uh, like you see mine are 
You should have no trouble. Those uh, brake pads should slide right in there. Reinstall your little screw. Um, and then before we put it back on the rotor, just, just to make sure that we didn't get any of that silicone sp spray splash anywhere, we're going to, uh, we will clean the rotor off with rubbing alcohol. And we'll take that, we'll put it back on, and we'll see how it works. Okay, guys? Okay, so another thing I did, guys, is the silicone loop. You want to spray inside the heads of your screws, just a, like the tiniest little drop, right? Um, also, you can put some little, little squirt on a Q-tip. And you can rub it all around these areas that you don't necessarily want to be spraying that stuff because it'll go all over your rotor, but then you can just... Uh, See this little bracket that holds your caliper on? You can wipe that stuff all over. Rub it all in down here. Um, on these, on the screws that hold the actual uh, disc on, they will get gunk and stuff. If you're riding this uh, through the winter and you in the town you guys live in uses salt, you're gonna want to do this because that stuff gets everywhere. Trust me. So when, you, when you're rubbing the silicone stuff on, uh, not only does it clean very well, it'll clean all that dirt and grime crap off of there, it cleans, um, it, it leaves everything nice and shiny, looking brand new, and best of all, it also coats it and protects it from rust. So, but anyways, uh, we got the caliper back on. It slid on there very well. Um, I sprayed these uh, bolts because they're they're starting to get like a little white residue crap on them. So you spray them with this stuff; it protects it from rust, whatever. Wipe them on. I'm gonna put that back together. And I'm also gonna do this probably again before the spring. Uh, big time spring cleanup of the bike. Uh, get it ready after all the snow has gone but anyways i'm gonna screw these back in here um not gonna do them all the way because we still have to set that so if you guys don't know how to do that i'll show you what you do is uh you're gonna screw these screws in but not all the way in you're gonna leave it so this is uh where's my allen key probably up behind me Yeah, I don't know. I gotta find my Allen key. But anyway, you're gonna screw that in so the caliper can still move. You're gonna take your uh, rear brake, you're gonna squeeze it all the way in, and then you're gonna uh, tighten this down. And you're gonna wanna look at it, spin your wheel, and make sure there's a gap on each side because uh, that doesn't always center it, but usually it will. So uh, that's what we're gonna do next, guys. Okay, guys, so that's it. We got the caliper back on. And. Uh, Air spins freely and the brake works good. Okay.